Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Zambi. is playing here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to pick top five characters that Andy Circus can play in the Batman solo movie. So, a couple of days ago, Andy Circus had came out saying he would like to join Matt Reeves' um Batman solo movie. And you know, I got five characters that he can play in this solo movie. I'm not surprised that he do want to be in the DCEU since he was in Lords of the Ring. Um, Marvel or uh, play as the Lissy Claw. I did like his character in Black Panther, but I hate the fact that they kill him off. What a waste of character! And he also joined the Star Wars universe. And for fun fact, he did play King Kong in the Peter Jackson movie. But yeah, let's get right straight into this um, list. Starting this list off with number five, we are gonna pick Clayface. So I know there's like three Clayface out there, but I'm going to pick this Clayface that was in the DCAU. Um, Matt Hagen. So pretty much, we can do a lot of story with this character. We can say that Matt Hagen was an actor who got into a horrible car accident and approached by a businessman that say he can fix his face. But when they was doing the surgery, end up going bad with him becoming the Clayface character. I think Andy Circus can pull this role out since he do a lot of motion capture in a lot of movies. I mean, have you seen him playing of the apes? He played as Caesar, and he did a very good um, motion capture in that movie. And I really do like when he do motion capture. He he's like when he do it, it's like he is the character. You know what I'm saying? Like he show emotion while he's doing it. But yeah, let's get right straight to number four of the list. On for number four, we are going to pick Man Bat. We haven't seen a real life Man Bat in any of the Batman live action. I know there's a Man Bat in um, Gotham right now, but I would like to see a full on CGI Man Bat. In Gotham, the Man Bat is pretty much like a human with bat wings. Uh, I don't even think he's like a bat human hybrid in that series but i think andy circus can put it off with a little cgi and you know he's very good with cgi you gotta look at him and play on the apes this guy is very good with cgi and motion capture i don't even know how he is he that good with that uh i really do like him doing motion capture and if he is gonna be in the batman movie i recommend him to play as clayface or man back with number three, we are going to pick the Mad Hatter. I can see Andy Serkis playing as the Mad Hatter in this movie because just look at him. He does got the Mad Hatter look. We can get him fake butt teeth, a hat, and a green coat and all that stuff. And we can get a Mad Hatter. I mean, he can keep his beard. We can have an older Mad Hatter. It, does, it doesn't matter as long as he get the character right. And you can see, if you watch the Black Panther movie, uh, he really did good in that movie as Alyssa Claw. Uh, I really did like his performance in that movie. And I really think he would do good playing as the Mad Hatter. And plus, we haven't even got a, a Mad Hatter in live action before. We did got him in Gotham. I did like the actor who plays in Gotham. But I wish he was like more calm and accurate. I think Andy Serkis would make this character more calm and accurate. Now, let's get right straight to number two. Number two, The Penguin. So, a lot of fans around the internet want Andy Serkis to play as the Penguin. Uh, I can see Andy Serkis playing as the Penguin as well. There is a fan art of him playing as the Penguin. As you can see on the screen now, this is the fan art. If you do want to find the guy who made it, his Twitter link will be down in the description below. But anyways, I can see Andy Serkis playing this role perfectly. I mean, give him a little bit of makeup, make his nose longer, uh, make him a little bit chubbier. And he could be so perfect playing as the penguin. I mean, he could like probably like uh, cut his beard or he could keep his beard. I like his beard, his beard is like fantastic for some reason. Um, uh, but yeah, tell me if y'all do like to see him as the penguin because a lot of people for some reason like to see him as the penguin. But I do got other actors that do uh, fit the role as the penguin. My, my choices is playing as Clayface or the man bat going for number one. This is the best character I pick for the list. If Andy Serkis does not want to play as a motion capture character, I'm pretty sure he will fit this role in the Batman solo movie. So I heard that Matt Reeves does want to set this movie in Arkham Asylum, so why not this character make an appearance in this movie? And this character is Hugo Strange. We haven't pretty much seen a Hugo Strange in live action in the movies before, but he is in Gotham right now. Um, 
the actor who played as him is a good actor in my point of view. Yeah, just give Andy a nice bald haircut, keep his beard, grow his beard out a little bit, you can see a perfect Hugo Strange character with him. And plus, if this movie is going to set in Arkham Asylum, make him as Hugo Strange. And plus, this movie is still being um, written. Uh, we don't know when is the full release date. They did say it will start production next year. Uh, I really can't see this um, movie. If Andy Serkis is going to be in this movie, it would be so perfect. But yeah, that's all I really have to say for today's video. Leave a like, comment, and also subscribe if you are new. And tell me in the comment section what character you would like to see he Andy Serkis to play as. Um, it could be any character from the list. Oh yeah, you probably got a different character idea. Let me know in the comments section. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.